at Cinco de Mayo on Sunday in Houston, Texas. Should be a great day of trauma. So here I am, getting ready to start the day. Is that a trauma? Yeah. We just got two level one traumas back to back. It's a quarter size oh. hole and you can see the skull. Uh huh. Okay. Apparently, according to bystanders, he was struck in the back of the head with a hammer. And so he has a quarter size opening just beyond the, the left ear. He does have a penetrating wound to his posterior skull on the left side. Um, and he also has some displaced teeth, so we'll also take him to the scanner in a second to see if he has any underlying brain injury. We need to rush into the scanner, see what's going on with him before our next trauma patient gets here. This is my Cinco de Mayo. Where's my margarita? Cinco de Mayo is, is all about volume. It's a significant increase in the types of trauma pattern, and you start losing track of, of uh, when the day started and when it finished. Young male, gunshot wound to the chest, came in by a life flight just a while ago. He's got one hole here and one hole just below the shoulder blade. We back up, we're ready to go. See you tomorrow. About to go get us another one. Unfortunately, Cinco de Mayo isn't different than any other holiday when it's just full of temptation and bad decision making. Then you find yourself as a trauma patient here. Cinco de Mayo is living up to my expectation. The ER is at capacity, and we have a lot of sick patients down here and more patients on the way in. 34 year old female, double the GSW and trace left symbol, exit right symbol, three caliber. This has been down for about 40 minutes. Hold compressions, check a cardiac ultrasound. No pulse. And no cardiac activity. What time is it? Time of death, 107. Sorry, right, good work, though. It's the end of my shift, and it looks like I survived. We had uh, those four level one traumas all at the same time, all pretty sick. Did a good operation, and I saved that uh, young man that suffered the gunshot wound. Now I guess it's time for me to go home and have a margarita like the rest of Houston, Texas has done today.